speaking of uh, love just now earlier, there's a lot of love uh, being shown to ATM as well, the Manchester City of Malaysia. Yes. <laughs> and you know quite a lot about ATM because yeah. you've been uh, quite involved with them as well. Could yeah. you explain a bit? Um, we are involved uh, in ATM in the sense of uh, we put the team together last year. Uh, we were brought in as consultants because they wanted to get out of this rot 22 years, you know, sitting down in, in Premier uh, Division 2 then, uh, FAM Cup, not going anywhere and money is spent but no success. So we wanted to put a whole fresh idea into it, we wanted to rebrand the whole team. So I put a team together and then we brought in the players, we brought in Satya as a coach. Uh, we wanted to build something around the team, you know, in football commercialization or, did, or private. Can, can I ask, did sure. you overspend? No, is we didn't it all within budget? It's all within the budget. We did is not. It worth we it? Did not. Yes, definitely worth it, it is. It's worth the, the money. Oh, champions. We, yeah. we, we, the only target that we had or was given to us to become uh, Premier Two champions, which we did. We wanted to be in the Malaysia Cup. We are in the Malaysia Cup. Uh, we what are the targets for the Malaysian Cup? I mean, obviously, well, like you spend all this money, you've got some really. To be honest, great with the kind reports. of players that we have, and we look at it, Satya put a quarterfinals target, which I think is a very fair target to come yeah. from Premier Two. Uh, anything more than that will be a bonus. Uh, we put the whole commercial team into place, right from sponsorship, uh, taking care of the sponsors day to day match. We started engaging with fans through social media so platforms. Is, is it very different what you guys are doing at ATM to KL, to Slang, or all Slang the other clubs? Beach. How yes, different it is, is it? It is very different, uh, Ross, simply because uh, we have a full commercial team that works at the stadium before the match, after the game. Uh, we look into our sponsors, uh, hospitality rooms. Uh, we give them the kind of benefit being a sponsor to the team. Uh, we deal with them. We send them invitation card to the matches. We send them the match tickets. We make One the phone calls. It's like a European, it's a European concept that you've taken. Exactly. Yeah. We, what they we do make in the phone calls. Uh, no, we we make the phone Europe. call and ask us, hey, are you coming for the game? Yeah. Uh, if you're not coming, what can we do? You know, do you want to do something? And you know, some of the sponsors that we work with, we even take the ATM players to the factory to the HQ to do a ground activation, to work with the local fans. Our social Facebook development has done fantastic. I think I'm very proud of it. 17,000 followers on the Facebook. We started from zero. Uh, you look at your, your, I mean like at the start, I can't imagine you had many fans. But now what's your attendance uh, on average? Well, average, we play at Slayang. We played against Klantan. We had 18,500 people. Uh, of course, about 8,000 were ATM fans, 10,000 Klantan fans. But then again, that's still uh, great. That's a good. You know, yeah, I, and putting all those things together in terms of package, I think it's it's been a great year for us. Basically, so what what you learn from Cardiff City is it? Well, to be honest with you, here. whatever I've learned from Cardiff and from my experience in terms of being in football for ten years, as I worked in FAM for ten years, uh, I've only applied thirty five percent of what I've learned in Cardiff here. It's got a gap. It's Malaysia uh, because it? yeah. you know there are a lot of things that can be done in Cardiff. It will not work well, exactly yeah, yeah. now. It will work. But the timing is just not right. But do yet. you think it takes just one club to maybe kickstart something like this, and all the clubs will follow suit, or do you think it's because you you guys have the financial backing that most clubs can't do it? See, the thing is, a lot of states uh, they have the financial backing, but how well are you spending your money? Are you within That's the budget? A most question. of the time, you have the budget, you burst your bubble. Yeah. You're not within the budget. And because you're not within the budget, you don't pay your EPF, you don't pay your income tax, yeah. you don't pay the yeah. bonus on time, yeah. and Please. all the promises yeah. you make. I've just got one question. The moment you get a budget at the end of early season, just say you get a certain amount of budget. Yeah. At the end of the season, how do you do you do you sustain the money or do you get profit out of it? Or are you losing money? At the end of the season right now. I because mean, it is because it's Malaysia our football, yeah. it's our first season, uh, definitely we, we are on the break even actually, to be honest. Oh, because nice. all, all the money uh, we, we, we came to a, we came to a conclusion that whatever funds that we have not necessarily will be spent on the first team because we got a reserve team. Yeah. They need the funds too. Right? If you look yeah. at the Malaysia Cup transfer, Armed Forces is the only team that never signed any player, never took players on loan. We promoted five players from the reserve league. And that speaks for itself. Yeah. So you know, in terms so, of your ROI, what yeah. do you do? In terms of return of investment for us, it's very simple. We have the KPIs, key performance indicators. Yeah. We have 16 points that I need to achieve. That's done. That is put to, put together with my team. And uh, so far, I think we are almost we have reached 12 points. We got another four to go. That four is based on Malaysia Cup performance. Right. Uh, ROI is very simple, straightforward. Number one 
is engagement with the fans. We get back the feedbacks from the yeah. fans. Even next year's 2013 Jay-Z is going to be designed by the fans. We are running a contest. We want the fans to come and tell us. We want the fans to come and tell us what kind of Jay-Z you would like to have. Yeah. What Jay-Z you want to wear. It's including colour and everything. Whichever. The colours are core colours maintained, but okay. in terms of design. So we have given them various designs, you come up with it. What kind of ground activation you would like to take place at the stadium? This year we spent about 100,000 ringgit. We gave away iPads, iPhones, MacBook, and lucky draws at the stadium. We gave away motorbikes in the final match. Oh, wow. I'm watching it. Yeah, let's, let's yeah. go next you know, match. So, you know, and, and, and we did a lot of stuff with the media as well. So it is. It is about engaging. We want to engage. So okay, now you're at the top table. Next season, what the, what, what are the ambitions? Top three, win the league. Well, next year we don't want to get demoted. <laughs> <laughs>